Hey everybody, good morning. I am back in Hawaii and the first place I'm gonna stop by at is Tonsing Hot Pot here at the Ward Center to try out some of Hawaii's best hot pots. So let's go inside, check it out, yay! And they also have a sauce bar here that you can get some appetizers, some fruits. Oh, there's even chicken feed as appetizers. And we got some fried stuff up there. All right, let's make some sauce. Hey guys, so this is the menu. It is all you can eat. Let's order some food. You guys, I just added it all. I'm gonna order all this. I pretty much got a little bit of all the meat and I wanna try all these veggies. They even have the rice and noodles. They have the Chinese fried crouton. It's basically an oil stick. It's like a Chinese donut. I love those. Okay guys, so this is the sauce I made. I added chili oil and some sesame sauce, a lot of green onions and garlic, and here comes the broth. I got spicy tom yum and herbal broth marrow. Alright guys, and into the broth I also added like a lot of seasoning. It's like flavored of garlic and green onion. Yes! I do this a lot. And if there's daikon, they don't, they don't have daikon here, but I also added some daikon and stuff, but it smells really good. Yes, and this is what I was talking about of the Chinese donut. It's actually fresh. Look at that still crisp mode thing. Mmm. When I go visit China, like you see ladies making these fresh and they're so freaking good at these are actually amazing. Mm. And loving the tom yum broth. Oh, so good. I got I'm gonna start off the meal by adding in the vegetables. I like adding the vegetables because um it seasons up the um, broth as well. I'm gonna add in all the balls because we love balls. Yes. So that's seriously so cool. I've never seen black sausages like that. All right. Let that cook, and we're gonna get started on the meat. All right, guys. We are about to dig into all this meat. All right, guys. Let's start off with this meat right here. Let's just add it in over there. Let that cook. Awesome. So we're gonna eat all that meat first. Looks like it's pork belly. While we're waiting for the meat to cook, let's try out some of the balls. Well, no, this one's not a ball, but it's fish tofu. Ooh. Mm. I actually really like all the garlic and onions I added in there. It soaks it all up. Dip into some of my sauce here. Ooh, hot. Oh, here, I found a ball. Cuttlefish ball. Okay, okay guys. The meat is ready. Ooh, look at all that garlic on there as well. That is looking so juicy. Put it on my plates. God, I miss hot pot. I've actually never heard of this place before in Hawaii. I'm so glad I found it. So while we're working on that, what I like to do is add in the next set of meat so it starts cooking. Because you guys know I am not patient. I'm gonna add some of this to the um, tom yum one as well. It's a little bit of both of the flavors. Alright, let's try this meat. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, that is very good. The meat is actually really tender. I love it. Very, very good for all you can eat quality. Very impressive. Alright, so that plate is totally gone. Now all this meat is ready. Gosh. Oh no, still a little bit. I guess that's what I get. Okay, we're gonna eat a bowl while we're waiting for that meat to finish. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is a pretty little bit of cuttlefish ball. There's stuff stuck inside. Let's try this out. Hi guys. So I gotta be careful with this so it doesn't like blow up in my face. But yeah, see, ooh, it's ooey squeezing out stuff. Mmm, fish roll. Fish rolls inside this. Ooh. Ooh. Right, check out my 
plate of meat. I'm gonna dump in all the hot pot ingredients here. The noodles and we got chow roots and more bean curd. I like this part of the meal because look at that broth, so much flavors in there. We got some big oyster mushrooms and we got the taro, taro bits. All right, let's try this next set of meat out. This is beef. Mmm. Oh my god. I'm loving the sauce I made. The sauce I made is like sweet and savory. I really like it. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I should have put way too much on my mouth. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's very good. See how I'm just swallowing that beef? It's so tender. I barely need to chew it. It's been soaked up in the broth. Mm. Oh, we got some healthy vegetables. I'm gonna dig it out. Oh, there it is. Some bok choys. I'm gonna let that cool down on the side because it gets very hot. Ooh, and these, these are very interesting. So my cousin actually told me about these not too long ago. I actually have no idea what these were. These are like just tofu skin. It, it honestly like by its own just tastes like paper, but in hot pot, it soaks up all the flavor and you, it's very chewy. Mm. All right, now for some fatty meats. Ooh, look at this, pork belly. Yes, I'm gonna add that right in there. Add that all in. I love the tom yum broth. The tom yum broth is actually so good. Spicy and savory. Delicious. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that pork belly to cook. I'm gonna show you all the other stuff I have in here. So I added some glass noodles called Dong Ding. These noodles are very light and it doesn't feel as heavy as rice. So that's why I like to eat it. Oh, oh, and the udon noodles has a really good texture, really chewy. Mmm. And they have pork intestines here. Pork intestines are like super chewy. And I love it. Mmm. Oh, I love Of course, I got my healthy vegetables to cool down now. That's the, that's the tough part about shabu, or maybe I'm used to it by now, so I can handle it right when it comes out of the broth, but that's why I'm so good at food challenges and stuff, because I eat hot pot all the time, and so I can eat hot stuff, like temperature-wise, really well. Mm. Oh, my God. The vegetables are so good. This one's been soaking in the tom yum broth, and oh my God, spicy, really nice. Mm. I just ordered more of these. These are actually so addicting. These reminds me of um, home, honestly, the Yotiao. And you don't find many places that make it this good. Mm. So fresh. So that is a 10 out of 10 here, by the way. That is very good. All right. This is my noodles. I got the pork belly here. This just came out. It's hot. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. I know, I, I'm so glad. You see all the little garlic pieces in here? It's because I dumped all that garlic at the beginning of the broth. It tastes so good. Flavors of the broth more. Mm. All right, while we're on that plate, we're gonna mm. add in all of this meat to there. Yes. By now, the hot pot or the 
yeah, the pot, it's soaked up with flavor from like everything you put in there and it's so flavorful right now. The broth is so freaking delicious. So much flavor. All the meat is gone. Look at that. I cannot get enough of this. This is actually so good. Mm. Last noodles are so good. Alright guys, I just pulled out some of the meat I just put in. Uh, added some sauce. Well, that's good. More of these tofu skins. Yeah, I'm very in, just very impressed by the quality for all you can eat. Very, very good food for an all you can eat hot pot place. Mm. My taro roots are done. So taro is like Kind of tastes like a potato, but maybe a little bit sweeter. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, that's very good. I love taro. Starchy. Yeah. Very thick. Massive oyster mushrooms here. Very chewy. I love oyster mushrooms. Mm. <clears throat> so got beef. I'm just enjoying it slowly now. Yeah, for me, I don't care if um the meat gets overcooked because I like it well done. Also, look at this. I got a Polynesian tattoo at a luau. I'm so cool. It's not real. It's just temporary. But I think it's really cool. <laughs> okay. Hello. It's so good. Oh, and we eat hot pot. No, be careful of these. If you don't make sure it's cooled down, these will pop in your face and burn you. Ooh, tofu soaks up that soup, man. Mm. Eight out of ten. Very good. Mm. Alright guys. Pretty much done with everything and for dessert, I gotta show you this. This is like my childhood drink. It's like a strawberry con well uh, usually it's just a milk, but they actually have a strawberry flavor, which is even better. It's like a it's like a um condensed milk flavor. The strawberry drink. It's so freaking good and refreshing. Now, I've never had the strawberry one before. I love it, this is awesome. All right guys, so I had an incredible meal that was so freaking delicious. Definitely a really good hot pot in Hawaii. Check them out, let them know I sent you. And it's right next to the Ala Moana Mall. So after you had a good meal, you can go to the mall and enjoy the, the view, look at some stuff and work off all that hot pot. But 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming, and on my Instagram page, I do a lot of giveaways, and on my Twitter page, I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos, and again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.